Hey everybody and welcome to the latest episode of the Game Fever Podcast. Uh, I think we're on episode 5 now. Um, last episode was our Halloween special. If you didn't check that one out, go back and check out uh, Austin and myself talking about some of the scariest games we ever played. Um, this episode, Justin is back. Say hi, Justin. Hello. I'm putting hey. off writing a 15-page paper to be with you all. <laughs> Procrastination. Yes. And, of course, Austin is here. Say hi, Austin. Hello, L3 Bot. Anyway... <laughs> So the gang's all here this time, and we're uh, going to get back at it um, the last couple of weeks. Uh, we're a little bit off schedule. Um, uh, I've actually been sick like three times in the past two weeks. It's been retarded. I've lost my voice, and like, like I'll lose it, and I'll get it back, and I'll lose it. it, it anyway, it's been that and scheduling conflicts. We've been a little bit crazy. So um, we're going to get back at it. Um, Austin and I have been planning on doing a episode with just me and him, but we hadn't got around to it because I was sick. That's my fault. And yeah. so we're, we're just, do. we're just going to cover that today. We're just going to go, um, instead of doing our regular three topics, we're going to cut it down to two, spend a little bit more time on each topic. Um, and you know, just delve into it a little bit. Um, so I guess first up, I, I Justin's going to kind of lead us into uh, our first topic. Yeah, uh, Chris and Austin, for the last few weeks, have been playing Pokemon X and Y. Oh, yeah. Um, I actually haven't picked it up just yet. I'm still holding off. Um, so in this conversation, I'll be representing the veterans who have probably played through every generation or most generations and might still be on the fence on whether or not they should pick up uh, the sixth generation. It's our job to convince you that it's good. <laughs> well, please do or your not. best. And, uh, sure. Sure. We'll see. Um, we'll see where this goes. So I picked up Y um, and Austin picked up a copy of X and, and we both started playing through about uh, I think it was on the same day actually um, a I think you picked yours up the day it came out though didn't you no it was the day after yeah the day yeah, I, didn't, I didn't Monday yeah I didn't go to the midnight release um, yeah so I, anyway I waited till the day after whatever um, and and started and uh, you know I got through it pretty quick um, put a lot of time in that especially that first week because I was really yeah. excited about it um, and then kind of slowed down from there. And, um, you know, now um, I think Aust Austin's a little bit further than I am. Um, where where I, are you I, guys at? <clears throat> so, uh, where yeah, are you at, Chris? So I'm actually, um, I have completed all eight gyms um, and I'm now preparing to take on the Elite Four um, and, and get all that um, taken care of um, before I go into the kind of post game stuff because from what I've heard there's a little bit of uh, there's a little bit of stuff afterwards I mean obviously you can go and you you can go back to all the old locations and you know catch, try to catch all the Pokemon that you may have missed and all that stuff but there's a little bit of story <clears throat> I believe that goes on afterwards but anyway that's where I am I'm about to take on the elite four um, pretty close to the end the, the end of the main part of the game basically um, where are you at Austin um I think I beat the game like five days after I picked it up, honestly. Well, <laughs> well see right there. You can get through the main story pretty quickly. Yeah. So I was wondering, you know, what yeah, you guys well, were doing I, I at think, the moment. Like I said, this is the my first uh, foray into the Pokemon world. And um, so, I mean, I you know, I kind of knew what to expect or whatever. But, you know, it's a new kind of a new experience. And you know, uh, as compared to some of the veterans, I don't know all the ins and outs and how everything goes. But... Um, you know, for me, you know, the story, the story was okay. Um, does the protagonist talk, uh, in all, in all the past games, the protagonist was always silent. Does the protagonist talk in this game? Mm. I'm trying to think. Yeah. In this one, in this one, it's different. Um, okay. Like in this one, you know, typical, you, you wake up in the morning and you mom's like, Hey, professor wants to talk to you. Okay. Professor gives you Pokeballs, you know, you go off and do your own thing. And this one, you you meet up with uh, a group of, I think it's what, three or four friends? It's four friends, yeah, right? Yeah, you, you have, you have uh, a couple different friends um, that you meet up with. And you kind of, 
you don't travel with them through the whole game, mm-hmm. but they're always present. Um, yeah. One, at least one or two of them in every town. You're, you know, they you run into them. They, they're there for plot exposition. They're, um, there to kind of cheer you on and give you tips and you know, it, it, that's kind of cool. I, I kind of like that aspect of it, that sure. you're not just on your own. Mm-hmm. Um, you have this group of friends um, with you, kind of growing with you. And, um, you know, they're they're in the same boat that you are. They start off with you and, <clears throat> and you know, you, you get to battle them. And anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, didn't, I don't know how different that is from the other games. Obviously, it's different, but... Um, um, in past games, normally opposite the protagonist is normally one other uh, character is about the same age who normally serves as the rival. Okay. By the third generation, it wasn't just, oh, the rival's a jerk. Uh, your rival might uh, happen to be related to a gym leader or might be related to the Pokemon professor. And um, by the end, they're replaced by a different rival later on in the game. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's a, little, it's, it's a little bit different. Yeah. It's, um, <clears throat> you know, it's not really, I- I'd say you are competitive with, sure. with the other kids, and, um, but it's not really a rivalry. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean, I mean, the one is uh, the closest thing to a rival that you have, the, the blonde headed girl. Yeah, but even in, even in her, it's, there's a lot of respect there. It's not, oh, sure. it's yeah, but not. I, the deal with, with the, the past Pokemon games was that your rival always picked like the opposite Pokemon that you got. And yeah. that's what she did. So, I mean, in the well, they ones, all, I think, I think there was two of them because yeah, the, there's three starters and <clears throat> whichever one you pick, two of the other characters will pick off the other ones. Yeah. And it kind of goes from there. Yeah. Sure. Um, now, when I when I asked if the character, if the protagonist talks, I mean, does he have any like written dialogue that? I don't. None. I don't think no, no, think so. no lines of dialogue throughout the story. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think okay. so. Not that I recall, really. Um, it, it it's kind of the basic trope of any RPG. You know, the the silent um, protagonist. Um. So I I mean that's that's kind of the same. Um. The storyline, you know, it's, I mean, it does, it does its purpose, but sure. I, you know, it's nothing groundbreaking and um, there's nothing awesome there or crazy or it does its purpose. It gets you through, you know, the progression and, and gets you where you need to go and keeps it interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't say it's the main selling point of the game or anything. Um, it's, uh. It's fine. It's fine. I, there's nothing really to complain about there other than it's kind of obvious. I mean, but it is a game mostly made for kids. So, I mean, you know, they're not... Normally you know, not too heavy it's, on it. Yeah. Subtle, <clears throat> it's subtle It's not messages. Shakespeare. Sure. Um, it but, does follow mm, pretty much all the other Pokemon <laughs> games. Story <laughs> behind, so, I mean, it's... With all the other ones, you know, it's Team Rocket or... Um, what were some of the other ones, Justin? Like, you had a team Leaf Magma, and... team Plasma in the third generation, and in the fourth, yeah. you had a team uh, Galactic. Is that the fourth one? Yeah, I've seen it. So this one, is, mine, I... this one, it's Team Flare. Okay. Yeah. So, and yeah, it's it's you know it, it if you don't see what's coming from a mile away, then uh, I don't know, you're not paying attention or something. But um, you know, the story's whatever. Um, Gameplay. Yeah, have you guys like, have you been uh, chasing any, any rabbits? And what I mean by that is like in past games, either there were like parts in the geography where you could like set up a secret base, or in like the fourth generation you could dig underground and set up a secret base there or look for fossils. Is, are there any like little side quests? Mini there's games that, there's uh, a lot of side in. quests. I okay. mean, there's a lot of stuff that you could get lost for an hour for hours. Um, what's, I, what's your favorite so far? What, 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 other than battling and you know catching the Pokemon, normally with each generation, there's normally something else that can distract your time. And I don't know. I mean, I've I've spent most of my time um, just battling and, okay. and, and leveling up and exploring definitely um, 
I try to explore every area as fully as I can while I'm there um, and make mental notes of stuff I want to go back and do. Um, but I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on there. Do all the towns to be all still have like two buildings and that, that's pretty much a town or? No, they're, they're pretty robust. Yeah, I mean, I, there's, I wouldn't say they're huge or anything. Oh, it's sure. nothing. Um, I mean, Lumio City is pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, okay. the main the main uh, city uh, is huge. Actually, I it it just kind of makes me angry half the time because it, it's basically the whole city looks like a giant. It's designed like a giant pokeball. <laughs> so it's it's a big okay. circle. Sure. And then you've got <clears throat> you've got streets radiating out from the center. Mm-hmm. You know, and and then there's like little centers and there's like little like squares. Which they're circular, so they're not squares. I don't know if they're courtyards. Um, and the alleyways. And anyway, it gets really confusing. Did you ever <laughs> find yourself getting lost then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times I'd, I'd have to skate around the whole friggin' city. You know, like you can twice. take a cab, right? I know you can take a cab, but it costs money. And, and Are there. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm a classic hoarder when it comes to RPGs. I will finish the game with so many friggin' items that I will never use just because I feel like I have to pick everything up. In the in the first generation games, your uh, backpack only could only hold like 20 items back then. Yeah. Dude, I have so much crap. Sure. And I don't even know what to do with half <laughs> of it. Um, you know, and I haven't really even, you know, scratched the surface of some of the some of the um, other evolutionary stuff you can do with, with the game, you know, like breeding EVs and, and stuff like that. I haven't, yeah, I haven't even got into all that, that stuff. Right, that's its own. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, you've got to, you've got to really dedicate a lot of time. There's a, yeah, a lot, especially know. for the people who play online, because a lot of them, a lot of them, if we're talking about breeding, they breed specific uh, Pokemon for specific characteristics that would affect specific stats. Uh, some oh, people yeah. just go nuts with it. I, I just I don't have the time for that. And I've I've read a couple, like I I'm not a huge um, you know online gamer. I don't you know online multiplayer and stuff like that is really just not my bag. Um, I'll play every now and then, you know, socially or whatever. It, it's whatever. So you know the that aspect of the game is really not a huge selling point for me. Well, the thing is, like, uh, I don't know um, if Nintendo, it's, if it's Nintendo that sponsors it, but they do have, like, their organized tournaments. And yeah. Like, yeah, so some people actually do. Oh, yeah, they get serious. Yeah, they do get really and serious about it. <clears throat> I know, I guess with the last <clears throat> the last generation, there was uh, there was some way you could cheat. Um, you could cheat your stats to basically get, like, perfect stats. And there was, I don't know. I don't know. It gets really technical when, when you get into that stuff. Um, but I guess there's an item <clears throat> in this game that kind of evens the playing field mm-hmm. um, with all that, which I'm not going to go into a whole lot of that because, I mean, like I said, it gets really technical and mm-hmm. that's just not my thing. I'm not I'm not trying to breed a team and, and go compete online. That's just not Austin, going back to the, the cab that you mentioned, does it have, like, the radio stations, like, in Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> no. <laughs> with, the, with the political pundits and, you know, the... No, right, I've, 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 taken, I've taken a cab once, and it basically, you just... Mm-hmm. You get in, you select your destination, pay your money, and then... Okay. And it lies. It, it lies, too. He's like, it's like $700, and I'm like, okay, sweet. I get there, and he's like, oh, it's 1500 Get out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now there, okay, there's, there's another thing I did want to ask about. Um... Uh, Chris, I mean, I guess you you know what they are now. Uh, HM moves, you know, the hidden moves that you have to teach your Pokemon to be yeah. able to traverse, you know, to get from point A to point B on the map. Yeah. And normally they're very weak moves, other than like surf and maybe strength. Yeah. Uh, they're really annoying. Uh, h- how did you guys handle like arranging your team and depend deciding which you moves know, to keep, which ones to let go? I um, I basically I took I took some of those moves and gave them to you know. Pokemon that I use, but I don't use all the time. Okay. They're not like my main team. Sure. Um, and I, if I'm out exploring and I get to an area where I really need it, I'll go back and get them. Mm-hmm. Um, I know a lot of people 
um, from what I've from what I've read, will take one Pokemon and give them all those moves. The HM Slave. Yeah, the HM Slave. <laughs> um, I haven't done that. I've thought about it actually yeah. um, because it would be a little bit convenient, but I have not done it yet. What are you, What are you doing with that, Austin? I had an HM Slave. It was Lapras. <laughs> Oh. I just taught Lapras. I taught Lapras. Really? Okay. Waterfall strength. Yeah, I just, sure. I just sure. destroyed. Well, see, it. I've got, I've got, I've, I've got two of them on Lapras because I don't use them that much. But he does come in handy in a fight with you know fire based. You yeah, know, the, the um, bad thing is, is Lapras is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's and, a good one, and it's, if we're talking about stats, it has high defense and high HP. Someone's probably going to comment and probably contest that, but from what I remember had pretty good stats in those areas yeah. but you know HMs wouldn't be such a problem if you could just forget you know, the Pokemon could forget them without having to go to the with the move deleter he's somewhere in there right and, yeah yeah you know and I say that because for the longest time up until the last generation your TMs could only be used one time uh, from what I understand now they can be used more than once yeah yeah uh, yeah. yeah you would think that at this point they would have also changed the rule for the HMs. Yeah, I don't. I don't really see the point in that. Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's kind of inconvenient. It is, um, but those moves aren't very good. Cut has a base attack of what fifty or sixty. I don't even. Yeah, know. by it's, the time late in the game, yeah. Plus, plus it's like, um, what was it? Like if you if your Pokemon wants to learn a good move, like I had Lapras, I was still using it because it was still destroying fire types. Yeah, sure. So it kills I was dragons still using too. Shit. <laughs> Uh, but it, I don't remember what move it wanted to learn, but I was I had it filled up with HMs, so I couldn't. Oh. And I wanted it to learn the move. So I actually I went in after that and I removed one thing just so I could. You know. I I probably need to I probably need to just you know make one of mine a HM slave, but I haven't. Um, you know I've I've got a couple. Which which uh which second starter did you pick? Uh. Ask me that. Um, was it the fire type? Was it the water type? No, water. Um, water. Squirtle. Squirtle. Uh, Squirtle. Yeah, I picked Squirtle. Um, the reason I picked Squirtle was because in my initial starter, I uh, I chose Finnegan, who's the fire type, um, which uh, we haven't talked about that yet. So <clears throat> we can talk yeah. about that a little bit. Um, yeah, I chose Finnegan as my main starter of the new Pokemon which is the fox, the little fire fox. Um, and then, so so by the time, you know, I got to pick the, which is pretty early, it's pretty early in the game. I mean, you get your starter and then you mess around a little bit. And then, yeah. and then, and then boom, you've got, you get to get the second set of starters. Um, so yeah, I pick Squirtle. And, and yeah, it's easy. It was all right, you know, evolved him, whatever, blah blah blah. He's okay. Um, I, I can't say that I really use him, uh, Blastoise now, uh, a whole lot. Um, I use him when I need to, but you know, he's whatever. Um, I'd like to pick up a, a Charmander and, and <laughs> um, play around. Um, that that thing is overkill on this game, which I'm sure so, it is on every game. But yeah. well, hey, that's like my Finnegan, man. Um, which is I, I heard a lot of people were disappointed with the Finnegan like really the, oh, yeah I mean I've you know I, Finnegan still my well it, now it's called Del Fox and it's final and it's the yeah. evolution um, Del Fox is um, my lead Pokemon has been uh, pretty much the whole game um, he friggin owns people I don't I heard it was I think it's just the um, the defense on it right it's bad yeah, but I mean, I smoked people so quick that it didn't even matter. I mean, like I, eh, it's kind of a moot point when I can I can throw some fire at you and kill you in one hit. So I actually I need to experiment with them. I've got all three of the starters <coughs> right now. So yeah. and so who'd you start with, Austin? Who was your first um, and and then your your who, uh, secondary? Who was my first? Hmm. Let me go back to a time when I was not, younger. Not that kind of first. Your first. Oh. <laughs> Who did oh. you pick as a starter? Uh, I picked. What was it called? Uh, Chespin. Chespin. Okay. Chespin. And I like. Yeah. I I did that mainly because I looked up what. Grass type. Yeah. 
I looked up what they were gonna evolve into. <laughs> that really final bad. form, that's the best name, <laughs> Chestnut. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> so yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, the final form I, is pretty. Is he's pretty epic. I mean, I've, have I have you seen the second form? Yeah, kind of silly. I hate hey, it. Hey, it can't be more silly than um than uh, Finnegan's second form, which. Oh was... no, 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 no! I'll sh I'll send you a picture. <laughs> It was just, I, I was so upset. I was like, oh, finally, it's evolved me. That's it. And I was like waiting, saw that little um, light spinning threat. Yeah. And finally, it evolved. And I was so disappointed that I used nothing but the evolved form of Chessman the whole time just so that it would finally evolve <laughs> into Chestnut because it was, it was it was hideous, dude. It was pretty, I've really. seen it. It's pretty bad. I'll have to check that out. I haven't, I haven't picked up a Chessman, so I haven't seen that. I, I'm saving it. Hold on. I'm saving this picture, and you're going to see it, and you're going to be disappointed. Okay. Uh, but we'll we'll keep going with the yeah. conversation. So so you pick Chespin, okay, and then you got your second set of starters, which is the, the original. I, I had I had this plan from the beginning. I I was actually going to go with um, the the water type first uh, instead of Chespin because yeah. I I love the fact that he was a ninja frog, and I. Uh, he's kind of cool. He's kind of cool. I haven't picked him up either, um, but yeah, you know, I fought against him. And other than the fact that he uses his tongue as a scarf, that's weird to me. I don't. It just kind of creeps me out. But it's whatever. I, I actually didn't know that, and you just ruined my night. <laughs> yeah, his tongue is yeah. a scarf. I don't know what that's about. But he, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a ninja frog. It's kind of cool, um, you know, if you're into that yeah. sort of thing. Well, yeah, he yeah. he's he's strong too. I mean, but, um, yeah. I had a plan where I was gonna pick him first, and I was gonna pick Charizard because I didn't really, I don't care for Venusaur, uh -huh. and I don't, I don't I care for Blastoise. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, but um, yeah, and plus I got X specifically because the uh, two Mega Ball forms that you can change that are different, like Mewtwo is different mm -hmm. on X and Y. And so is Charizard. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I like I like both of them better on X, even though I I'm not too fond of the um, the main legendary. On I this know, one. right? Uh, yeah. Xerneas Xerneas is uh, he's actually really strong, but yeah. uh, so he's a he's a he's a deer, right? He's, yeah, he's a rainbow deer. Which is fine, but just the antlers are, the antlers kill it for me. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I picked up I picked up Charizard. Got his mega evolution with him and whatnot, and I beat the entire game with him. I mean, honestly, if yeah. I wouldn't have had Charizard, it would have been harder. I wouldn't yeah. have flipped through it as fast. But your your mega evolution on Blastoise, why? <laughs> I, I really why thought I thought they should put a, they should have put the the cannons on his kneecaps also. That would have been yeah. pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, it was. It, it's okay. It's whatever. Um, <clears throat> you know. It, yeah, it looked kind of weird. It's it's whatever. Um, but I don't like I said I don't really use my Blastoise a lot. Um, um, mostly use my Delphox and then um, my Blaziken, which is um, ridiculous. You, you get a you get a torch it um, as a present if you bought it before if you buy it before what January I think. Um, that you can download and anyway yeah Blaziken is the evolved form. And Blaziken and friggin' smokes people. Um, He's the only good starter from Generation Three, in my opinion. I yeah. think some people I like, will. I like Sceptile. <clears throat> and yeah, then, yeah. So I th yeah, I was gonna say some people disagree with me on that one or crucify I me. Still, I, don't I know. still haven't picked up. Um, I still haven't picked up a Mew or anything like that yet. Um, like I said, I'm you, still. You won't be able to do the legendaries until you beat the game. Yeah, I know. I know. I've gotta. I've gotta get through the uh, Elite Four and then that and then I can then I can do that um yeah that kind of sucks because you know I'm going around trying to explore and stuff and it's like oh you can't go in this cave until you're a champion that's or typical like, RPG oh, fair though that's typical on, RPG fair though you know like, you I just want to do it now sure but it, it, it's fun like I said I overall the game is the game is awesome I you know I like it probably more than I thought I was going to I figured I would probably enjoy it because I really enjoyed, you know, JRPGs. Um, you know, I really enjoyed the 3DS. 
I really enjoy, you know, a lot of the titles that are coming out on the 3DS, the way that they're doing the styles graphically. Um, that's another thing. Um, the 3D, you know, this is the first uh, entry in the Pokemon series that's gone into uh, you know, 3D with the sprites and everything, or with the graphics. And um, I think it looks awesome. It's, it's, it's really good. Um, they did a great job um, on everything. It looks really cool. All the character models are awesome. Um, I, no complaints. I think it's really, it's really, really good. Um, what do you think, Austin? Graphically, graphically, it's it's probably the best out of all of them, mainly because of the dynamic system of battling now, which is a big new feature. Yeah. Um, I I like it. It's. I actually, I saw someone say that they never pictured themselves battling Pokemon like this. I don't remember who it was. Someone commented on one of our pictures. Um, I agree with that completely, just 100%. I mean, they upgraded a lot, you know, on the, on the DS, and but up to this point, it, it wasn't as fun. I think so this, this is this is where it should have been. Well, I think I yeah. think they could have done this a couple of generations ago. I mean, you know, it's it's not that much, you know, I mean, I, we've been doing, you know, 3D RPGs since, you know, Final Fantasy 7, you know what I mean? Well, if we're talking on a handheld system, though, but I would agree, you know, take the Final Fantasy 3 and 4 remakes yeah, for the yeah. DS, yeah, they exactly. probably could have pulled it Square, off. Square did an amazing job on those remakes, um, on the regular DS, um, and, and the graphics are friggin' awesome. Um, I think they, I think they probably should have done this a, at least a last generation. I think they well, should have done it with black and white. If we're if we're gonna compare, if we're talking <laughs> about the battles uh, being presented in 3D, mm-hmm. uh, you could actually look back at you know the Pokemon Stadium games and Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know that's actually kind of where Chris kind of cut his teeth with yes. the series. Um, that's a, that's about the only experience I have in the the uh, Pokemon games is the Pokemon Stadium. You just have the combat aspect yeah. of the game and not any of the, the exploration or really even the plot. Exactly. So, yeah, I really feel like the, the stadium games were kind of an unfulfilled dream and I really think you know, I think Chris would agree that uh, mm-hmm. X and Y are kind of a, the package deal that everyone's been waiting for. Yeah, it's and great. What everyone would have, what everyone would have expected from uh, Pokemon games you know, on the Wii. Speaking of you know, speaking of that, I think they should come out with another friggin' Pokemon Stadium or Coliseum type game. Um, that's just my opinion. I think it'd be really cool. Or add it into this game. Sure. Make it, a, you know what I mean? Um, I think it would have been a cool feature in this game if, you know, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, they do have the. I guess in every game, from what I've heard, they have kind of a, like a battle tower. They do. Post game normally. Normally um, it's, you know. It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of, it's kind of, what the middle of the game somewhere you run into the the mansion or whatever. Yeah. Um, which I've only been back once so far. After I, you know, beat the game, I'll go back and. I'm not sure, but I think they stay at low levels, so it's almost pointless. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? I think I'm. I have, I've only been back once, and there was a low level. Then I might. Have, I I fought one person though. So. Well, normally, like you normally advance. Yeah, you'll advance. Then, or, yeah, did you, did you rank up? Did you go? Did you rank up any? No. Okay. Well, I went back. I went back once and fought and and ranked up to the next the next rank or whatever. Um. Oh no! That yeah, I did. <laughs> I did once. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think you know you've just got to advance it more. Well, um, once once you beat the game, you actually fly to a different location, or uh, you take a train or something like that. Uh-huh. And there's a big battle tower thing over there. You know how like you do the uh, the multiplayer. You know, uh, you pick a certain amount of Pokemon for your team to face up against the other player. Yeah, and that's what we were talking about. Yeah, normally, that's, there's that's something what that like is. that. That's yeah, you can only normally you can only take maybe three. And there's normally a level cap, and a lot of times there might be something about the environment that uh, you know might make the right. battle go one way or the other. Okay. So. And one one cool thing is too, I didn't ever tell you this, Chris, but uh, there is a safari zone over there. Safari? Is, it's like uh, you go in, and it looks at your friends uh-huh. on your friends list, and it picks a certain type of Pokemon for your friends. 
Yeah. And I think it's only I think there's only two different types of Pokemon that you can catch in the Safari. Mm -hmm. But it's they're both gonna be that type. And I think uh, see yours was ghost type. And then someone else had fire type, and I actually went to the fire type zone and I caught a char a Charmander in the fire type zone. Huh. Interesting. It's a Charmander. and a Growlithe, so I mean I thought about raising an army of Charizards but yeah. <laughs> just have a whole team that's <laughs> awkward, awkward, uh, awkward fight yeah that's that's weird yeah I mean it's you know and I can't say that it's a it's a short game you know by modern standards um, you know most JRPGs you're gonna put some time into um and like I said, I'm not even done with this game, and I've probably I've already put like 40 or 50 hours. Good. Good. So definitely, you know, time-wise, I mean, you, you know, you got to put some time into it, and it's worth it. You know what I mean? If I'm gonna, you know, pay 40, it, you know, compared to a console game, I mean, $40 versus $60 or whatever, um, it's a lot cheaper actually. But um, you know, I mean, I definitely felt like I got my money's worth. Um, I'm very happy um, with the game. It was great. It, you know, especially, you know, my first foray into this, um, I was, I, I am definitely a huge Pokemon fan now. Um, I will definitely be probably buying the, you know, Z or whatever director's cut they come out with. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping they do a sequel like they did with Black and White. Sure, continue um, the story. I don't see why they wouldn't. As big of a seller as this game is, um, they've already got the engine built. They already have the graphics. Why not just write another story and, and do a sequel? See, a, a big thing right now is, is that if you look at the map, it almost perfectly connects to the last map from the last game. What? I can't think of the region, but it, it fits in perfectly with that region. Really? And so a lot of people are thinking that either there's going to be some bonus content or something where you can go into the other region. Or that's what the next one's gonna be. Okay, mm -hmm. that's cool. Um, you know, I'd lo I'd love to see any speculation on on what they're gonna do with that. Um, you know, I'd love anybody send us you know videos or, or articles on on that, or just tell us, post it on the Facebook page, whatever. Um, tell us what you think. Um, but I definitely, I definitely think they should do a sequel. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, I will pick it up. I am probably a Pokemon fan for life. Um, it, it was great. It's, it, it's been a great game. It's been a long time since I played a good JRPG. <clears throat> um, you know, it's kind of a dying genre or not so much dying, but it, it's a genre that's... It's kind of concentrated to the handheld market now. <laughs> it is. And it's kind of, you know, all the big players, um, you know, seem to have, have tried to get away from it. Um, they're they're trying to take those you know like Final Fantasy I've, as I've said before you know they're trying to take that series in a different direction which I understand you know they're trying to make something new or whatever but at the same time a lot of us just we want that classic Final Fantasy feel in a new game with a new story and you know what I mean um, so you know good new JRPGs are hard to come by and um, you know this one's it, it's really fun I, I definitely recommend um, picking it up if you haven't already, which is highly unlikely since it's sold so many friggin' copies. Um, I think everybody and their dog has the game except for Justin. <laughs> yeah, and I'll admit, what I'd say, I didn't feel so bad that you know I hadn't picked up the latest generation. Um, I was just feeling left out because a lot of my friends who haven't played since the second generation are picking it up again, and Chris is jumping in for the first time, and... Yeah, I, I almost gave in, but <laughs> I've persevered so far. Hey, wait for the director's cut and pick that up. But, I, you know, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely fun. I, I mean, there, other than I think there was, they had one bug that I've heard about. Um, the Lumio City save? Yeah, the Lumio City save, um, which they've already fixed. Um, I think there's a patch for that. So, um, yeah, I mean... Uh, there's no reason not to pick it up. It's it's great. It's great. You know, if I if I had the extra money, I would probably pick up X also. <laughs> um, you're gonna, you're going to fill up that Pokedex. Is that what you're? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to fill my Pokedex. Up. Um, 
But there's like something like seven over seven hundred now. Yeah, I think it's like seven eighteen. Yeah. I hope someone hope hope no one comes and throws a brick through my window. Sorry if I'm wrong. No, I, th- I think you're right. I think it's seven eighteen. Um, that's a lot. That's that a is lot. a lot. Uh, the one thing about that, I guess, I guess in previous generations, you actually had to catch. You actually had to catch the Pokemon. Yes. To fill out. Well, and, and, and you kind of, okay, they've changed it now. I guess that's different now, which I didn't know because I hadn't played. But um, now if you fight a Pokemon, mm-hmm. it gets an entry in your Pokedex. Mm-hmm. You don't get all the details on it. Sure. But it still fills in an entry. So technically you can just go <clears throat> through the game and fight mm-hmm. all the Pokemon um, and to fill your Pokemon, Poke Index. Pokedex. Pokedex up. You don't actually have to um, catch all of them. But I'm trying to catch all of them that I can anyway, so it's it's fun. How many do you think you've caught, Austin? Uh I'm not a big catcher. I only like I've went through after I I beat it. Yeah. I've been trying to get all the legendaries that I can get. I'm uh I'm having a really rough time with uh, not throwing everything I own while trying to catch Articuno. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, so do you still have to stick with the same uh, tactic of putting it to sleep or paralyzing it and dropping it down to as low HP as well, possible? Well, I haven't even had the chance balls? yet. You have, to, you have to find it. I think it's either 10 or 12 oh. times okay. before it flies. It flies to a location, and then you get to fight it. But uh, I think I went that up to like Mewtwo. Busy <laughs> oh, yeah, and it's very it's aggravating. I, very I, I'll finally find it. I fall and find it, and then it'll just fly away. Uh huh. Mm. You know, you had no idea how aggravating it is. Staring yeah. me in the face. Sounds like. It. But no, I caught I caught Mewtwo with a Master Ball, and then I went and caught the um, Zygrade, I think is what it's called, which is the the Z Pokemon. Sure. Yeah. And uh, that that took me three tries. I had to I had to turn off my DS and restart. Really. Yeah, it was aggravating. It. I think I wasted about 200 Pokeballs on it total. But wow. It was, yeah. Did yeah, you it took me a while. save before trying yeah, to Yeah, I, I would save right before it. Okay. And then uh, I would go up and I'd weaken him and do this and do that. Okay. And then once I ran out of Pokeballs, I was like, um, I guess I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> guess that's it. Uh, I guess I'm done. Yeah. I'd go back and restart. I, I don't remember how I did it. I think I... Uh, I had to use like 50 timer balls and oh wow all kinds of stuff like that, and then I think I actually caught it with a dusk ball nice. because it was in a, it's in a cave. So. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All yeah. right. So I, you know, we probably need to wrap this up, but um, <laughs> <laughs> buy it. <laughs> We've yeah, buy it. Definitely go buy it if you haven't already. It's amazing. Nintendo and and um, Game Freak. Game Freak. Yes. Uh, Game outdid Freak. themselves. Um, I mean, it's amazing. It's 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 a really 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 great game. Um, you know, the only thing that I, you know, the only thing that would make it better is if, you know, they did come out with a Pokemon game with a killer story. Um, but as we all know, that's not their main focus. Um, that's the only thing that would you know. Um, uh, normally, ever since the third generation, it kind of seems like they've tried to. Uh, include some sort of subtle message through the uh, through the antagonizing uh, villain group. You know, like mm-hmm. with in the third generation, the, the two teams were trying to change the weather. I really feel like they were trying to, you know, mm-hmm. say something about climate oh, change. Yeah, yeah and... there's a there's there's a definite um, underlying um, political view in there, uh, and I won't go too on, too much into that. But yeah. uh, you, you'll see it for yourself when you play the game. Um, but you know, you know, story is story is probably the weakest part of this game, um, just because there's you know there's not a whole lot of depth there. It's you know, but it's it's still great. It's so much. Like I said, I've played 40, 50 hours somewhere in between there, and um, your head might feel exp- like I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface. Almost, you know. I, I mean. I, d- there's so many more Pokemon I could catch. There's so much more exploring I still need to do. Uh, so much more. St- I haven't even got into like a lot of the evolution stuff yet. I mean, I'm just there's so much stuff to do 
So if you could pick just one game to play for the rest of your life, it'd probably be this game. <laughs> Is that what you're trying this, to say? Well, <clears throat> if I had you know to pick like ten. This would be probably on no, no. Case. We're just talking about just one. No, Chris, uh, you don't get ten. You don't, uh, just one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I could. I could pick just one. That's so hard. Uh, but it would probably be this one, though, right? <laughs> it, it's good. It's a good. Uh, you sure are fangirling over it pretty uh, hard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's hard. That's a really hard choice. I can't. I can't definitely say that at this time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so let's the, wrap this up. Go buy it. Um, if you're playing it, you know, what do you think about it? Tell us uh, in the comments section. Uh, go check out the Facebook and, you know, leave us a message on there. Tell us what you think about the game. Love it, hate it, haven't bought it yet. What do you think? Um, Austin wants your Venusaur, no matter how badly he'll deny it. <laughs> Pika! He'll, he'll, trade, he'll trade for a Venusaur. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, come play with us. Play some Pokemans. It's fun. Yeah, we it's like actually it. what my grandma used to call it. Pokemans. Yeah, it's a lot Don't of fun. Don't you like that, Pokemon? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah, like I said, Facebook. Uh, go check us out. Uh, you know, Facebook.com slash GameFira. And leave us a comment. Leave us a message. Tell us, you know, we suck or whatever. I don't know. Get our friends. I, I posted my friend code, so go on there and uh, get that. And, you know, we can trade or something. I don't know. Yeah, he hasn't beat the first four gym leaders on do it. I have. Oh, if you whatever. want my friend, cool. <laughs> DM him. DM Austin. DM me. God. Okay, moving along. Moving along. We probably went way longer than we should have on that. <clears throat> so, for the second subject of today's episode, um, we probably won't, we won't spend near as much time, but I just wanted to talk about um, tonight, which... By the time you hear this podcast, this is already going to happen, but tonight at midnight, the PlayStation 4 is launching, launching us into the new era of gaming consoles um, with the Xbox One coming out uh, pretty quick. Uh, what's the release date on that? A couple weeks from now? That's you, Austin. Ah, so, I don't know. So, <laughs> so you know... <clears throat> well, I guess you could say the Wii U kind of launched us into the next, you know. Oh, Chris is forgetting. <laughs> hey, hey. Chris left his fanboyism at home and left Nintendo <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> this is a non-biased podcast. Chris. <laughs> it, hey, hey. Never mind the fact that it's been out for a year. Never mind that. Has it been a year already? It has been a year. Really? It has. Wow. Yeah. That, okay. that tells you who's bought it so far. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, anyway, so tonight at midnight, which it'll already, like I said, already have happened uh, by the time you listen to this, but the PlayStation 4 is coming out. Um, so I figured we'd talk for a minute about the uh, PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox One, which one's better, um, our opinions, what we may be picking up or not picking up, why or why not we may be doing what we're doing, uh, and all of the above. <clears throat> so I'm broke. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, I am not going to be picking up either one of them at launch, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's been my experience that with, especially with new technology, stuff like this, it's going to fail at first. There's going to be hardware malfunctions. There's going to be uh, lack of titles. Um, there's going to be lack of support. There's going to be an overabundance of people having problems and, you know, they're still going to be working through the technical aspects and they're not going to know what to do. And so I just don't even want to mess with it right now. Um, that's one of the reasons I haven't bought a Wii U yet. Um, I think it's just now, even though it's been out, it's just now getting a good lineup of games, uh, a lineup of games to justify me actually buying it. Sure, um, sure. You've got, you know, I mean, there's 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 several good games on it. Um, it even taken a price drop recently, so that's and it has in taken a price drop. Um, that's another thing to look for, you know, about you know, a year or so after, not not even a year. A lot of times, um, uh, you'll get that initial price drop, and they'll, they'll drop it down a little bit um, to get another upsurgence of sales. Um, 
so the Wii U is just now getting into the spot where I think I'm probably going to, I'm hopefully going to buy one pretty soon. Um, because developers are starting to figure out how to work the console, how to develop games for it. There's more high profile games coming out. Um, they've worked out a lot of the kinks and I don't have to sit around with a brick of a console waiting for them to fix problems that they didn't know they were going to have. Um, and so that's going to happen. That's going to happen with any system launch. And so it's already somewhat, I don't know how much you guys have been keeping up with uh, everything that's been going on, but the PlayStation 4 <clears throat> is coming out tonight is already having issues with brick consoles. Blue Ring of Death is... Yeah, the blue flashing light, apparently, is the new is the new thing. Um you know, it really, it really harkens back to the uh, initial launch of the Xbox 360 and the infamous Red Rings of Death. Um, Speaking of which, I just have a question. Yes. Red. Why, why would you even put a red ring if you didn't think anything was going to happen to the <laughs> Xbox? Sure. Um, you know, I don't know. I think it's one well, of those that's... things you have to build in or something. I don't know. Well, yeah, if it's going to defect in some way, it's nice to know when, <laughs> hey, there is isn't much you can do about it on your end. Yeah. It's, yeah, but has... I mean, there's there's an orange light that says, hey, there's something going wrong. You don't have something yeah, this to plug is, in. No, this, is the, this console is now trash light. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I, I don't think... Hope your warranty's still good. We're go we'll see. We'll <laughs> see what happens over the next couple days. Um, if it's going to be on the same scale as the, th I don't think it's going to be, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to naysay or, you know, be a doomsayer, um, for the PS4. Um, uh, but there have been some initial reports, uh, even, even Kotaku, um, actually got a dead console. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it's, it's nice to know that not everyone's, uh. No one's, no one's immune. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, there's going to be some of that. And, you know, it's probably a small percentage. But, you know, sell a million units, a small percentage of a million is still going to be several thousand units. Exactly. Um, whether or not this is going to affect you guys that are, you know, out there standing in line right now. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, Hopefully, hopefully it is just a, you know, a small, small percentage of those consoles and it doesn't turn into as big of a headache as they had with the Xbox 360. Because I, I know with the Xbox 360, it was a lot. Um, I don't know the exact percentages, but there was a lot of hardware failure. Um, hopefully it's not that. Hopefully, you know. Commercially, though, I, I do think the Xbox will still sell simply because... Oh yeah, I guess it, what I understand, it definitely will. Sony uh, will probably make a limited, will probably uh, ship a limited number, mm -hmm. and if there isn't, if there aren't PS4s on the shelves, I don't think people who might have the trouble of getting out to get a console would pass up an Xbox, especially considering the holiday season around the corner. I think Sony's going to take the early lead. Yeah. For a couple simple reasons. First of all, they're getting out of the gate first. Exactly. Okay. Second of all, they're a hundred dollars cheaper. True. Okay. Um, and you know, I think I think they're going to be this generation's Wii. To be honest, I think they'll you be. Think in so? a, I don't. I don't think they're going to be that big of a seller. I don't think it's going to be see. that big. Sure. Um, I mean, the Wii is one of the best selling consoles of all time. Well, I, I mean, as far as. Who's, which console are people going to be going after? Which one might be in a sh you know short supply because of the demand? Okay. I think this time around it would be the PS4, possibly. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, hard to I say. Mean, it is hard to say. I think I really think it's going to even out. I, I, you know, I think I think there's going to be an initial surge of PS4 sales just because, like I said, it's out of the gate first. It's a hundred dollars cheaper. Um, I think some of the some of that is going to be slowed down by these hardware uh, failures and, and technical difficulties. Um, you know, Xbox kind of you know, Microsoft kind of shot themselves in the foot, um, a, you know, several months ago um, with the DRM issues and everything else, and lost a lot of support. They've since then made a lot of steps uh, towards garnering that support back. 
Um, they, you know, they've realized their error, and they've made a lot of changes, and you know, eleventh hour <laughs> kind of changed a lot of their policy, and a lot of people are going, okay, you know, that's I'll, what any sport business does. I'll still give them a shot. Um, I'm personally, I'm gonna sit back and wait, but. I'm pretty loyal, and I have to say I really like the Xbox 360. So I'm probably going to lean more towards the Xbox One, even though it is $100 higher, even though you know all that issues with the DRM and all that drama. But that's just me. Um, I don't know. The PS4 could be the next powerhouse. What do you think, Austin? Um. You're more of a modern gamer than than Justin or I are, anyway. I know, I know, we weren't supposed to go in this with like a biased opinion, so I'm gonna try my hardest not to. Um, I listen to people who don't have an opinion, so yeah, let her rip, let her rip. I I am a big Xbox player mainly because of servers and just I like um, the competitive play more than just to have fun, you know, just doing random stuff. Um, Each console serves its niche. I mean, that's okay. Yeah. Sorry to have a preference. Well, yeah, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft has proven itself as uh, the online platform. The online platform, uh, and right. Sony's trying to take some of that. We'll see. And that's that's going to be even further with this one. I forget how many, but they're supposed to up their servers and stuff like that. Not to mention with the fact <laughs> that uh, I am a huge Halo fan. Um, on the Xbox One, uh, is yeah. it Steven Spielberg? Yeah, he's supposed to be doing the um, uh, Halo series that you can only watch on the Xbox One. So I mean that's honestly that alone. Is there, a, there's going to be a, a there's going to be a huge contingency of oh, yeah. Xbox exclusive uh, fans like with Halo and stuff that they're gonna buy an Xbox One no matter right. what you say or what you know how much better people think the PS4 is. I don't think there's going to be too much of a difference. Um, you know my one my one thing you know Sony has not put as much attention on the online gameplay as Microsoft has. Um, so that is, that, that's know, a big part for a I, lot of know, modern gamers. For a lot of competitive gamers. That's the reason they, they, they're going to stick with Microsoft. Um, we'll see if Sony can, you know, really step up and become a t- contender in that market. I don't know. Um, they, they say they're going to, we'll see. Um, in the past, their online gaming has been, you know, spotty at best. Um, Let's not forget the whole deal where the, the workers stole everyone's information. Yeah, yeah, there was that thing. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm just not a huge Sony fan. I will probably go with the Xbox One. Yeah, I, But I, like I said, I, I'm not going to buy it right now. I'm not gonna yeah, buy it. I'm, I'm waiting a little bit. To, I'm agreeing with what you said earlier. I'm waiting to see what problems happen because, like you said, the red, the red ring. I'm super glad I waited to get a 360. Yeah, because I don't. I don't want to buy. I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a console, and then right. it not work at all, and I just have to send it back, and then I have to wait for a month or two months, you know, to get a replacement, and then, you know, I don't want to go through that whole thing. Um, right. I want to buy it and know it's gonna work. Um, so, you know. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for a while and, you know, just see what happens. And I think a lot of people are going to be doing the same. At this point, um, I think my choice would be the 360. Or not 360, but the one. The Xbox, Xbox one. one. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I was I was at a, a turn point before. I was, I was actually rooting more for the PS4 because there was, you know, when it first was, you know, announced, they said... You have to have internet connection. You have to do this. You have to do that. You can't buy used games or play them. And uh, yeah, an even I, I bigger mean... turning point was the the connect. I don't know. I hate. I hate the connect. Yeah. I feel like it was a huge failure, and they made it like a huge selling point on the Xbox One. And well, that was, they're, that's they're making it. They're making it mandatory. And yeah, <clears throat> it's not so much that you have to play games on it. It's just that they're making it part of the functionality of the system. So 
it has to come with the system. It's whatever. And you know, there's all these privacy issues and people are like, oh, well, the government's spying on me, whatever. The government doesn't want to see you in your friggin' underwear. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Well, it's like your your phone takes pictures of you. and Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, come, come on now. <laughs> it's... it's uh, I think that's a lot of paranoia and stupid. Yeah, I have whatever. I have a method. And to, and uh, if yeah, it, go ahead. I have I have a method to stop the government from spying on me. I just pray to Obama every night before I go to sleep, and nothing happens. You know what? Here here's a here's a here's an idea. If if you don't want the connect to see you while you're sitting on your couch watching TV, throw a T-shirt over it. Or better yet, get just stay naked all the time. Hey, I do. I do that I'm anyway. Naked. I'm naked right now. Underneath the, all these clothes, I'm naked. <laughs> hey, you know, it, <clears throat> and it, it does kind of suck because that is the reason that it's $100 more is because it has to come with the Connect. You don't have to use the Connect, but it comes with it. So they had to bump the price up. Um, I don't think that's the best marketing decision that they've ever made, but like I said, there's going to be a ton of, you know, Xbox supporters and Xbox lo- Xbox loyalists that are going to buy it anyway. It doesn't matter. I think both of them are going to sell, you know, uh, especially, you know, with Halo coming out and, you know, everything else. I mean, people are going to buy them. It doesn't matter. On top of that, the controllers, I mean, the Xbox PS- One hands in on that. Oh, um, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, the Xbox One controller looks way better. Um, but, I mean, you know, the PS4 is not going to kill the Xbox One. The Xbox One is not going to kill the PS4. I never really liked it when people tried to make you feel bad because you weren't playing, you know, the right console. It really reminds me of sixth grade where you weren't cool if you didn't wear Doc Martens. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, it's, what do you like? I mean, if, if what exactly. you like isn't accessible on a particular console... I don't, you I'm went to gonna... a classy, a classy middle school. Doc Martens. <laughs> they were very clickish. <laughs> they were very classy. They were, they were very clickish and yeah, petty. Which the exact, to be honest, I really think that's the whole uh, console war thing. The, I think the, it's petty. It is. It it's is very, very childish petty. and petty. Childish. It's like telling people that you know that their taste sucks because they like uh, Disturbed or something. You know. Oh, you had to bring up that band. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I but, but, but like I said, you know, every console serves its niche, and it it's what do you like? And you shouldn't make someone feel bad just because you know they aren't buying what everyone else is buying. I, I want to. I, I do want to. I do want to mention one of the other one of the other issues that um, the PS4 has had that I've been reading up. I've been, I've been trying to keep up on what's going on with it and everything. And, you know, there's all these, all these different issues, uh, you know, the, the main one being the, um, the bricked consoles so far. But, um, I just read another article, um, before we did this about, um, the remote play, um, feature where basically you can play your PS4 games on your Vita, your PS Vita, if you have one, um, so somebody else can watch the TV and you can still play your game and, you know, whatever. Um, and basically the issue has, uh, it, with that is at least for now, um, with the current software and everything, apparently the range on that is only about 20 feet. So basically you can remote play and it works well as long as you're in the same room as your TV and, and PS4. If you try to go to the bathroom or the kitchen or any other room in the house and play, it does not work. So that kind of useless. Yeah. That, that kind of limits the, uh, the use of that feature. Um, in today's wireless age, that's kind of less than impressive. It is less than honest. impressive. I, I don't understand the issue. Um, if you are using one internet connection, I mean, you have to be on the same router and all this stuff. I don't know why it would work that way. Um, I feel like you should be able to go, you know, pretty much anywhere within your wireless router's range. Um, but apparently that is not the case. Uh, 
because I know, you know, a lot of the selling point of that feature is, oh, you know, I'm playing in the living room or whatever, and I want to go lay in bed. So I'm going to, you know, take the game, you know, and put it on the Vita and then, you know, go lay in bed and play. Um, but apparently you cannot do that. Unless your bed's in the same room as your as your PS4, then you're good. Well, it looks like that kind of That kind of eliminates the point, doesn't it? Um, so that kind of sucks. Maybe they'll fix it. I don't know if that's uh, something they can... I don't know if that's something they can fix um, with a patch or, you know, a download, but just saying that kind of sucks um other than that i mean we're just gonna have to wait and see it's, it's normally a waiting game um that, that's the way it's kind of like it's always been uh, but. i've seen a lot of positive press as far as uh the design um of the new playstation 4 i know it's a lot smaller um than the xbox one um Apparently. And it doesn't look like a VCR. Yeah, it doesn't like look. Like, it does not look one. like a VCR. It also does not look like a clamshell, like the the uh, PS3 when it first came out. Um, um, it's a pretty sleek design. Um, it seems to be you know pretty well designed, and uh, you know I haven't heard any issues um, with that so far. Um, everybody's pretty happy with the design of it so far. So that's that's a positive. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. As long as the system looks good, it doesn't matter how it works. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I like I said, I will probably I will probably buy an Xbox One. But I'm not going to do it for several several months probably. So, it's, you know, I want to wait till all those hardware issues are, are out of the way and I want to wait till, you know, there's a bigger library of games for me to choose from. Um, what do you think, Austin? I think I'm going to wait for the same reasons you just said, but the number one reason I'm waiting is because I am poor and I cannot afford to buy either system. Oh, and, yeah, that happens. Yeah. That's life. <clears throat> Thanks, life, for uh, everything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. What do you think, Justin? What do you think? I'm still going to wait. Uh, there really aren't any launch titles that have caught my interest just yet. Yeah. And... For, There's for a this, definite lack of launch titles. Well, which was you know, that's kind of how it is for any system. And yeah. I, well, I'm still, like I said, I, for me, there's still a backlog of PS3 games that I would like to play. And by the time I get through those, PS4 should be up, you know, by about a year, and maybe there'll be a cheaper, uh, better model out by then. Exactly. So. Exactly. I mean, you know, the. the I understand being an early adopter. I was an early adopter with the 3DS. Um, you know, I, I understand the excitement and wanting to get out and support, you know, the console you believe in and, and, and pick it up on the midnight release and all that stuff. But <clears throat> when you get a little bit older and wiser... <laughs> and there's so much stuff, it's it's hard to just buy everything as soon as it comes yeah. out. That's just, then Well, for, not for everybody, but for some of us. Uh, so you kind of have to be it, smart. It just makes more sense to yeah. wait and and you know see see which one's gonna gonna be the best for you um, because you never know. I mean, but if you have friends who play online and they're already jumping in on it and you can't stand the thought of being left out, hey, don't let us tell you what to do. So yeah, don't let we, us. we understand completely. <coughs> so we understand. Like let your always, friends tell you what to do. It's called peer Sorry. pressure. Why do you think Give I'm in. My bedtime is 8.30. Why do you think I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. So uh, <clears throat> to wrap it up, you know, let us know what you think. Uh, tell us, you know, are you are you buying a PS4 tonight? Are you going to wait for the Xbox One? Uh, do you already own a Wii U and you're just not going to play their games? I don't know. And did you camp out? Get, send did us you pictures of out? your send tent. Us, send, us pictures, send us pictures. It's cold outside. It is I cold, wouldn't want to be out it? there right now. DMS pictures. Yeah, DMS pictures. <laughs> uh, you know, go check us out on Facebook. You know, we're on Twitter at Game Fira. You know, tell us what you think. You know, tell us we're idiots. I don't care. Uh, make sure you check out the website, GameFira.com, for the latest news, um, all the latest articles from around the net as soon as they come out. So if you want to stay up on what's happening with the PS4 and the Xbox One and all the issues that everybody's having, go check out the website because it's going to be there. Um, I think that's a, 
that's about it for this episode, guys. I believe so. Anything else you guys uh, want to touch on? No? Yes? No? No? Playlist yes. video we'll games. We'll talk about that. Read we'll some talk books. about that. All right, guys. Uh, until next time, uh, keep playing those games. And buying those products so we can get a it? price. Go off. play Pokemon. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. Yes. <laughs> it's awesome. It's got to catch them all. Pokemon. That's where we should have ended it. Like. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye. Y'all take care.